Hi guys, welcome back to Finpact. Today I'm here with another SafeMoon update video. Today we're going to look at the SafeMoon price, what's been happening in the SafeMoon community and what news has come about that could help push SafeMoon's price to the upside. But guys, before we begin, hit that like button below so that we can push this video out so that more people who don't get to see this video get to see this video. And if you haven't already subscribed, what are you doing? Go subscribe right now. I make new videos every single week and also hit that bell notification as a lot of it is time sensitive information. So you will get informed on when I post a video. I also have a really cool Weeble link down below where you can get two free stocks worth up to $1,600 when you deposit your first $100, which is an insane deal, you guys. Anyway, let's get into SafeMoon. So recently, the SafeMoon price has been fairly low compared to what it was around April 20th, 21st, where it hit its all time high. We did see a huge correction. And then we saw a move to the upside, some trading sideways and quite a few huge swings. And now we've kind of stabilized with the price. And now we're trading sideways. Remember, when the crypto markets show a huge correction, usually coins, tokens that are not in the top 50 show even larger corrections. So this was expected. However, some of these corrections that we saw for SafeMoon were not as bad as what we saw for some other coins. You know, for example, DC coin or Shiba Inu, they showed some larger corrections and SafeMoon held strong. So it seems like their philosophy of people holding or hodling the tokens has been working and been implemented by SafeMoon holders, which is fantastic because that's what SafeMoon was trying to achieve by stabilizing its price through the fee charged uh, when people sell tokens people are disincentivized to sell their tokens even during market crashes which is why the fundamentals of the safe moon token have been holding strong and i believe when we see further recoveries in the crypto market we're going to see safe moon recover even further and actually rally exponentially that's my personal opinion but i do think that will be contingent on the bull market continuing in the larger major cryptocurrencies and altcoins we're around 69% below its all-time high. However, I think the tokenomics and the SafeMoon community is going very strong. Despite this decrease in price, the holders for SafeMoon addresses have stayed strong and steadily increased. We're now at 2.28 million addresses. Now, one of the reasons I think the price hasn't shown the recovery we expected it to see is because I think that there's been some negative sentiment in the news. I believe complete FUD, but of course, when people see such negative sentiment like this article about SafeMoon, is it the new DC or Ponzi scheme? People are really concerned about whether it could be a rug pull. So what the critics are emphasizing is that SafeMoon owns more than 50% of the liquidity and refuses to fix it. So what people are concerned is if they will, you know, sell everything and create a a rug pull and then cause the price to tank because you know if they sell there's more supplies there's more circulating supply and the price would decrease so that is the fear but we've seen such a strong community and we've seen the safe moon management team show real integrity and i think this is quite congruent with this tweet that i think will reassure you guys about the potential concerns of rug pull now i really do believe this fear of rug pull is fud because no sort of token or cryptocurrency team would be speaking to governments and getting involved on projects involving countries where it's a potential Ponzi scheme or something dodgy. I don't think that's going to be the case. So um, John Caroni even tweeted that governments don't talk to rug pulls. And I think that is a really reassuring thing that you need to remember about the SafeMoon community. We've seen it get involved with the Gambia. So why would a government trust a token blindly when there are so many other tokens and coins out there. So I really don't think that we should be concerned about the rug pull concept. However, I think articles like this are just trying to gauge people's attention, worry people or, you know, trigger people. It's a it's a clickbaity type of article. Like, is it going to be the next DC? So is it going to make millionaires or is it literally a complete, you know, rubbish thing? I think that's the purpose of such articles. It's a, it's there to manipulate your sort of confidence in a project or almost increase that confidence. But reading the article, they did actually have some great positive news as well. And most of it was positive. It was only the critics part, which I just went through with you guys. Although in this article, they covered the critics of SafeMoon, I do like that they definitely mentioned the roadmap. They said that the first quarter let SafeMoon double the size of its team and start working on marketing campaigns. You know, they've got their merch now. They've got such a large community. And the next steps in the plan are the development of an app, though it's unclear 
clear what purpose aside from facilitating safe moon trading. Um, so the wallet, which we know about, and some games. Uh, and also safe moon is looking to be listed on major cryptocurrency exchanges. So we're really waiting for it to be listed on major cryptocurrency exchanges like Binance. I think that would be really, really big for the ease of buying safe moon for a lot of people. And, you know, they, as we know, they are building their own exchange, which would offer NFTs. So they keep expanding their teams. We've seen a lot of key hires, even senior hires take place for the safe moon team, which I've mentioned in my previous video. And the fact that they have dedicated to finish the safe moon exchange and open offices in Africa. So all really good stuff ahead regarding the fundamental behind SafeMoon and I wanted to touch upon about how fantastic the team that is leading SafeMoon is because that's really important in building people's trust you know if you have a dodgy management team then yes there's nothing stopping them doing dodgy things like rug pulls however we have a great team for safe moons management look at this tweet we have here uh, ceo john caroni was an all source analyst cto thomas smith was the cio of goldsmith blockchain consulting C uh, coo jack haynes davies at like and share limited and you know 2.5 million holders okay fine we're on around 2.28 right now but naturally during the crash a few holding addresses did fall but you know by december this this tweet thinks he'll have 20 million holders i mean i'm not too sure I think that's quite optimistic. However, you never know. I mean, it is a community driven project. So maybe it does get that mass traction. We've seen things like that happen for, you know, DC, like even stocks, very speculative stocks like GameStop and um, AMC. Um, however, I think SafeMoon isn't just purely based on speculation. I think it really does have these fundamentals behind it, which is what is very key for me in terms of being a long term SafeMoon holder. And there's lots of speculation in the community and guesses that will there be a safe moon blockchain i mean i was thinking about this in my previous video i don't know if there will be you know the fact that they're making so many hires in the development field and having all these new uh projects like wallets and exchanges i mean i feel like they're not too far from having their own blockchain again this is just my personal opinion this is not something they've announced um people are kind of speculating on if there will be their own blockchain and i also came across this reddit post about 18 hours ago where it says, so in my opinion, SafeMoon is creating smart contracts blockchain with bridges to all other major blockchains. Instead of using BNB, the fuel for all coins will be SafeMoon. You know, look, no one really knows, but people are saying whatever it has to be done, you know, this will increase the price for SafeMoon if, if it has its own blockchain technology. That will make it that will make it transition away from being a token to a coin, which is a huge deal because generally tokenomics are great, but being a coin on its own blockchain that is interoperable with other blockchains, it's it, that's a different sort of league of a cryptocurrency. That makes it a coin rather than a token. So I'd be really excited to see if that happens for SafeMoon. Now, I mentioned that SafeMoon is community driven. So yes, it has the fundamentals behind it, but the community that supports SafeMoon and is buying and hodling SafeMoon and sort of going by the proposal of the tokenomics by not selling their SafeMoon tokens is integral in SafeMoon's success. So this is followers on Twitter and SafeMoon has 827,000, DC has 1.6 million and Bitcoin has 2.5 million. This is really showing that SafeMoon has a really large community of support behind it i mean and almost not too far from these huge crypto giants let's say and you guys another huge positive news for the safe moon community is actually linked to the wider crypto market and that's that the rbi clarified that there is no ban in india in, with regards to cryptocurrency so this has confirmed that many indians can join the community for many cryptocurrencies and this little reddit post here i like the i like the meme aspect says crypto unbanned for 1.5 billion indians who haven't had a chance to buy safemoon yet and safemoon always looking to expand and grow and increase their community support that means a lot more people can help buy safemoon and stabilize its price to the upside and be a real digital value for people so let's quickly cover the whale watch day 63 safe moon safe moon army this was five hours ago so the key point written here is that based on the previous cycles we are seeing major movement up or down every two weeks roughly and that's sort of congruent with what we saw in the safe moon price chart we can see it's pretty much a two week sort of upswing and then another two weeks and we saw another swing around here and if history is to repeat itself whilst it's consolidating right now and trading sideways you know i think that 
that we may see another upswing. Again, this will depend on the overall crypto market as well. And none of this is financial advice. This is just based on if history does repeat itself, that could happen. Right, so, and it also mentions a good news article that gives hope in the great direction of all crypto. And this is key again because I mentioned that everything in cryptos like SafeMoon, especially SafeMoon, not being in the top 50, does follow the rest of the crypto market. And with the bullish news we saw with India unbanning cryptocurrencies, and we also have Miami hosting the largest cryptocurrency conference in history with over 50,000 attendees, this will be great for the crypto space being commercialized and having that large institutional brand sort of attention you know at large conferences like this but this will basically be major catalyst for a bullish trend across the entire crypto space and this will be great for cryptos with good tokenomics to be the future of the industry so this would be fantastic for safe moon and this person has also said that it's been 55 days since i started tracking whales in depth and we have lost so many of them. The current whales, including exchanges, are listed below. You will notice that the existing whales have dumped a total of 44.8 trillion tokens, which is 30% of their total holdings. So the original reason this post was started was to disprove the fudge that whales never sell and that they will always be whales. This isn't true. Clearly, whales have sold. So what this means is that the whales are continually selling out their bags, which is great for all of the Safe Moon community. Because every day when the whales lose power and sell the tokens, they're distributed back to the community. And all the bags of the people in the community are continuing to grow as well as the burn pile is increasing. So it's almost that we are in a better place than we were two months ago. So this is what I find really interesting about safe moon it's very like counterintuitive successful because imagine if you have whales dumping bitcoin that sees the price fall but with safe moon the fact that they have the uh, d- redistribution back to its existing holders and the burn that means that when whales dump it's actually a good thing for the community so that the community can almost you know buy in the dips as well and also be distributed uh, tokens back to them so they can have more tokens that they are holding so yeah to reiterate this safe moon has tweeted you know patience holding is rewarding some other great news is that another exchange has basically enabled the tokenomics behind safe moon so that has been bit bns i knew they were already listed there but now they have integrated the tokenomics which is fantastic stuff and of course i don't know if you guys have already seen but here's the merch so the community sort of support is definitely building and i think the merch looks pretty cool safe moon watches this can you guys send me some thanks Okay, guys, I just want to quickly touch upon price. Now, price predictions are difficult when it comes to right now where we are in the bull market. I do think SafeMoon has potential to go to really, really high 100x type of returns if the current bull market shows the rest of the alts and the rest of the, you know, Bitcoin exceeding their previous all-time highs, whether it's in this bull run or the next. I came across this Reddit post where, which is about price prediction. This person has said, so I've been through over 2,500 price comments from some expert crypto advisors to general safe mooners here twitter youtube facebook taking out anything over one dollar the conclusive price for the year end is around 0.0005 that would be well over 100x or around just over 100x and this person has rightly said that this will be dependent on whether the safe moon team can get the wallet and exchange done before this market cycle ends again reiterating it does follow the current bull market cycle if the current bull market cycle ends there's no way we're going to see this price if it continues and we see previous all-time highs being broken then yes absolutely i think it is highly possible for us to see this sort of price but that's just my non-financial advisor opinion it's just what i think based on what i've been seeing that's been happening in the community but anyway that is my my safe moon update what do you guys think leave it in the comments below and remember guys i'm not a financial advisor this is just my own personal opinion make sure you do your research before you invest in anything and i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave in the comments below what you guys think where you think the price is heading whether you are a safe moon fan or not whatever it is and don't forget to hit that like button down below as it does something to the youtube algorithm so that we can push this video out and more people get to see this video 
And if you haven't already subscribed, what are you doing, guys? I said this already. Go subscribe. And I post new videos every single week. So hit that bell notification so you get informed on when I post a video, as a lot of it is time sensitive information. I also have some links below where you can get some free stocks, which I think free stuff. Why not? Always. Uh, one of the links is for Weeble where you get two free stocks when you deposit your first $100. And those two free stocks can be worth up to $1,600. So check that out as well. And I have a free stock for tr freetrade.io as well. So yeah, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.